All right. Welcome back. It is Friday, October 30th, 2020. Let me get to the social studies stuff. Today we are going to review our Google Meets etiquette like we always do. Review class norms, mission statement and goals, learning objectives, um, social studies, chapter one, geography of Texas, review vocabulary. We are going to go through that crossword and I want to make sure that we know what each word is, okay? The word and the definition. Are you all with me? All right. Google etiquette, please make sure you show up on time, work in a quiet place, you need paper, pencil, eraser, mute your microphone, video must be on, raise your hand using nod or waving, unmute your microphone to speak and leave at the end of the meeting. Our class norms, we will be kind, be respectful, and be working. Ah, I missed the mission statement. Where is it? Uh, it's going backwards. All right, we will work together as friends and family. In Mrs. Metz's class. To gain more knowledge, to work, and to learn. So we can all be successful. We will listen to each other. Help each other. And encourage each other. We will make things happen and show the world we will not accept anything short of the best. Thanks guys. I also wanna tell you that when it says we will work together as friends and family, that doesn't mean that it's going to always be easy on you. If there's something I will never let my friends and family do, that's be lazy. You don't get to be lazy and succeed. It doesn't work that way. If you want success, you have to go chase success. You have to work for it. So don't think that any of this means that it's gonna be easy because it's not. And sometimes being a friend means that somebody's gonna tell you something that you don't wanna hear, but it's gonna be the truth. Do you understand? I will always tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, it will be honest. Our class goal is 100% of Mrs. Met students will show growth on unit assessments throughout the 2020-2021 school year. They will accomplish this goal by being purposeful and intentional with their time and learning. Today's learning objectives, um, we are going to review vocabulary of the geography of Texas. So, um, I am going to, mine's actually, I still wanna show you, so for those of you who don't know, I am going to show you how to get into your assignment. The one that I want you to go to is not the one that is assigned for week 11, day five. It's the one that's assigned for week 11, day two, I believe. So go, go into Canvas. Once you are in Canvas, you're gonna go to your Mrs. Metz card. As I learned this morning, it's called a card, not a tile. So I want you to go into the Mrs. Metz. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I want you to go into the Mrs. Metz fourth grade. Scroll down to week 11. Excuse me. Scroll down to, yeah, it's week 11, day two, Tuesday through Thursday. And I will change this week 11, day five, Friday, chapter one, geography root review to week 12. I'm just not going to do it right now. Okay. So you want to go into this week 11, day two, Tuesday. You're going back in to this, um, this, what's it called? The crossword puzzle. Do you understand? You're going back into the crossword puzzle. All right, I'm gonna click on it. Actually, no, because I don't wanna make, I don't wanna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my paper copy. So you don't have to be looking at the meeting if you're listening, you can be looking at your cami file for the crossword puzzle 
Basically, what we're doing is we are quote unquote grading it. So I am going to, let me show you what I'm going to do. So I am going to, I am going to have my crossword puzzle is up. So if you're looking at the meeting right now, you can see the crossword puzzle definitions, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through and we are going to, I am going to write the words next to the definitions out here. So like number three across. Now, if you are on the Cami file, what I would do on page two is I would be adding text boxes next to the definitions. If you have not finished this crossword puzzle, I would add text boxes next to the definitions so that you have the answers and then all you have to do is go enter the answers into the crossword puzzle later tonight or this weekend, right? Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? Does anybody not know what I'm trying to say? Okay, y'all all get it. Scarlet. <laughs> Right, if you are done with the puzzle, just make sure that you have them correct, okay? Now, that being said, Scarlett, I'm not going to look at the crossword puzzle part of it, right? I'm not looking at the crossword puzzle. I'm looking at the list of definitions on page two. Are you with me? Okay, anybody else have any questions about what we're doing? Okay, we're all on the same page. We're all looking at... Page two in that crossword puzzle file so that you can add text boxes for the correct words. Tamari. All right, so what do we need to do? I want you all in the same spot. So let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. So if I go back to the, the puzzle, nope, wrong, wrong thing. Nope, that's right. Oh, wait, I gotta read. What, Kaden? Oh, I did. I did. Okay, there it is. Yes, okay. I knew that because I think you told me that before. All right, so I'm opening up the file, and I guess I can do it. I'll just make sure I don't say, well, it may save it. I'll just have to. I don't want it to be. Oh, well. All right, so you have page one right here, right? So what I'm doing is I'm going down here on page two and I am going to add text boxes next to the definitions. So for example, number three is a fierce swirling funnel of wind created by a thunderstorm. This is called a... It's called a what? It's a tornado. So I'm going to type tornado, right? That's all I'm doing. Do y'all see what I'm doing? And then number seven across. Go click my text box. Oh, a place in nature where plants and animals live is called a... Is it? I will take your word for it. Region. I thought it was habitat. All right, that's what I thought. Boy, you had me confused, and that's not hard to do. Hang on a second. I might want to find my answer key, right? Might be a good idea. What do you think? Hang on a second. Well, anyway, number 11, a source that can be restored naturally over time is called a? Yep. See? That's all I'm doing is typing it next to it, right? 
Are y'all doing the same thing? Yes? Thumbs up? Kamani, what's up? Um, I don't know that I can. Let's see. Is that better? All right. No, oh, wait. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. All right, number 12. 12 across. The patterns of weather in a place over a long period of time is called? Layla. Climate. Hang on. A natural resource that is available in limited supply, it cannot be easily replaced or renewed, is called? Non-renewable resource. Y'all are so funny. Non-renewable resource. A period of time with little to no rain is called what, Talia? Yeah. Drought. Good job. Number 15 across is drought. Nope. Number 18 across. Chemicals and other harmful substances that can damage the water, air, or land. Pollution. 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 Parents are cool like that, you know it? Number 19 across, an area with common features that is set apart from other areas is called? Number 23 across, water that is located below the surface. Is, what? What? I'm not saying anything out loud. I was mouthing it. I was being silly. Oh, look at that. Sorry, guys. But, all right. Um, a level area higher than the surrounding land is called... Is it a plateau? No, a level area higher than the surrounding land, not water. 
plateau. Yeah. How do you spell plateau? I just went blank. Okay. P L A T A U. P L A T what? P A U. That's one of those weird spelling words. Plateau. Who needed me to go up? Talia, do you got them all or are we still waiting? You're still writing. I can see it in your eyes. See it in your eyes. Are you ready? Okay. All right. One down. A strong, cold north wind blowing in autumn or winter over Texas and the Gulf of Mexico is called a... <laughs> it's the, it doesn't matter. <laughs> A long, narrow island that lies just off the coast and protects the mainland. Barrier Island. Barrier Island. It is a barrier island. Yes. Uh, let me see. There, there you go. Two down. Two down. Ooh. This one's a this one's a weird word. Four down. Oh, a long steep slope or cliff is called it's an escarpment. It's an escarpment. That's a weird word, isn't it? Escarpment. Is there an E in it? No, there's not an E. I mean, there is. It starts with an E, but not in the middle of it. There we go. I was like, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's a good one. Five down. What? Threatened. What happened to what? Threatened. I can, but I got multiple two people talking. What? Tyler. Mari. Yes. 
Mari. All right. Which one are we on? Six down. Moisture that falls to the ground as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Scarlet. Precipitation. 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 <laughs> All right, well, teachers, we have a few announcements that have been made in the past couple of weeks. We have been notified by the district office that we will not be taking the meeting PDA again on Wednesday. So that day will be an instructional day for our third, fourth, and sixth graders. Students, we know that you persevered and worked so hard. Mute, please. We also want to say a big thank you to Mrs. Krupp, who has organized our Red Ribbon Week this week. We want to thank her for the Mute, time please. And also for the fun dress up days. And we're just grateful we can help hope is that you walk away with the record that living a life free of drugs, alcohol, and tobacco is the way to go and the way to be happy and to be drug free. Teachers will kindly ask for our custodians that you'll put all of your trash in the hallway for them today and that you remember to put, have students put their trifles on their chairs so that purposes can be left. All right, well, boys and girls, we had a little friendly competition among our teachers today, and it was so fun to see everybody dressed up. But you know, at the end of the day, there can only be one winner, so drum roll, please. Thank you, office staff. All right, at the end of the day, there can only be one winner, and so the best award and best costume goes through our PE, Fine Arts, and Special Team. So congratulations to Coach Donner, Coach Boykin, Ms. Atkinson, Mr. Fink, and Mr. Munoz, who were our Hogwarts today. So it was very close, and in second place were our fabulous Foxy and UCSD teachers, who were different characters of Sesame Street. Shout out to Ms. Franklin for her artistic abilities. All right, well, it's been a fun day. We're going to have a great dismissal. Also, to teachers, if you'll take a moment, move your clocks back one hour. This weekend, boys and girls, we will fall back one hour. So that means that time changes or you shift. And so we'll see you at the regular time, but it'll be a little dark outside when you come. All right, have a wonderful rest of the day. We still have about seven minutes to accomplish tasks, cleaning rooms, straightening desks, making sure everything is ready to go. Thank you. And on that note, y'all go have a good weekend. Go get lots of candy.